This is where you'll find Andy Orr most mornings. I love Sydney Harbour. This is my second home. You know, I spend 20 hours a week on these beaches and other Sydney Harbour beaches every week. Um, I know the harbour like the back of my hand. Knee deep in water or scouring the sand, Andy has an eagle eye for plastic and there is plenty of it. Tennis balls, chip packets, lolly wrappers. Andy began to clean up beaches around the harbour in his spare time a decade ago. I was here about 10 years ago with my wife, just going for a walk, and I, I, I was appalled by the amount of plastic on the beach and in the water as well, um, a swamp of plastic in the water. And I thought, someone's got to do something about this. But when his father died about two years ago, he inherited a large amount of money. So he decided to quit his job and go full time picking up plastic. Do you know what, I, I work harder now uh, doing this than I used to work as an English teacher. The only difference is I, I don't get paid to do this um, and I'm happy not to get paid to do this because uh, the pleasure of doing it is, is the reward. This slither of nature next to some of Sydney's wealthiest mansions is a national park, but there's only so much rangers can do. There is nobody who takes plastic out of the water. Um, apart from myself, I'm the only one that, that I know of. Um, and as I said, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll stand in the water, I'll get 3,000 pieces of plastic in one hour. In the quiet moments on the beach, Andy has come up with his own nickname. The Gosh. G-O-S-H, which stands for Guardian of Sydney Harbour. Um, so, yeah, I, if, if anyone ever wants to call me the Gosh, um, then great, but at the moment it's just me who calls myself the Gosh. Andy collects about 10,000 pieces of plastic from beaches like this every week, meaning in the 18 months of doing this full time, he's pulled almost three quarters of a million pieces from the harbour. These are some of the items I find every day on the beach. So starting with tennis balls, some days I'll pull 30 of these out of the wow. out of Sydney Harbour. Tyler's crosses. Some days I'll find 30 or 40 of these on the mm. beach. This one here, this is expandable glue. Um, and I find this in Sydney Harbour every single day. And that's really toxic. Without any social media presence, his efforts have gone largely unnoticed, except for some curious passers-by but he dreams of getting the word out through a regular media segment. Lollipop sticks, um, a lot of them every day. Uh, soy fish every day. Lids every single day. Either way, the 55-year-old is determined to continue his mission. He's even got a plan when it gets too much for his legs. At that point, I've decided I'm actually gonna buy a boat, a small boat with a steering wheel, stand-up steering wheel, drop the anchor and then just pick up plastic and then take my boat to the next beach. Um, yeah, so that's what I'll do.